Welcome to the Craig Rossi Cottage in Octorider. You can park anywhere on these streets for free just on either side, up or down. And our door is just the one just ahead. The key safe is just on the right hand side of the door. Please pull down the flap and then just pull the lever down that resets the code and then enter the code that we've provided. Then turn the dial clockwise and that releases the key. Just pull down this flap, retrieve the key and then just close it all behind you please. Just turn this anti-clockwise to lock the key safe again and just check it's all locked and then put the flap back up. Then take this key, pop it into the lock, turning clockwise and that unlocks the door. Welcome to the Craig Rossi Cottage, we hope you have a lovely stay. To lock the door from the inside, just use the key and pop it back into the door. And, and the mass bedroom. And we have a smart TV in the bedroom. Take the remote, unbutton, then just give the TV just a moment just to start up. Take the remote, press TV guide. Use the arrows to scroll through which channels you'd like when you find one that you'd like. Take the OK button and you press that once. Listen, I've got loads of channels. And then press the exit button just when you have to switch on each side. Then just press the off button to switch the telly off. We've also got our hairdryer in the top drawer and the radiator. And the radiators throughout the property are all controlled in the same way. So take the Valve just on the side, the higher the number, the higher the temperature, the lower the number, the lower the temperature. So turn it around to max at five to warm up and in the off position. Again, the heating in the hallway, just exactly the same, just the valve at the side. So the lower the numbers, the colder and the higher the temperature, temperature increases. Through into the twin bedroom. And we've got some USB sockets there as well, if you're traveling. In the wardrobe, we have our iron, and we've got a small ironing board for you. And again, heating in this bedroom, just the same. Valve, you can see the indicator line just here. Turn to decrease, turn to increase the temperature. And our single bedroom. Again, the heating just exactly the same. Indicator line just here, turn to reduce the temperature and turn to increase. And into our living room. Our lights. This light switch here controls the lights on both alcoves. Press it in once to activate and then you can just turn to adjust the temp the, the lighting again just press this button in to activate this light and it comes on there is a, sh a short delay again just turn the knob to change the lighting a wi-fi router is just over in the 
in the corner, just in case you do need to uh, reset the Wi-Fi at any point. There's just a wee plug switch just behind here. Switch this off for five minutes and back on. That'll allow it time to reset. Now we don't believe you should have to do this, but just in case. And our TV is just on the wall up here. You can use either of these two remotes. This is a smart remote and just a standard remote. Both do the same thing. Take the on button, tap it once. Now this is a smart TV, so you do have um, Amazon Prime, Netflix. Um, feel free to sign into these accounts if you have them. Just remember when you depart just to sign back out. You can hit the guide button. So by pressing guide, you then bring up all the channels that are available. Use the down arrow to scroll down when you find a channel that you like. Press the middle button just here. And the channel will come on. If you press the home button just here. It brings you back to the main menu. You can scroll down and you can go through all the, the smart TV channel functions. And when you're finished, just press the up button. This is a standby mode on the TV. It is a picture frame TV, so with uh, so it blends in with the pictures around it. The radiator in the living room, just the same as throughout the property. Again, the indicator switch just here. Just turn to increase the temperature, and you'll hear the water come in, and turn to decrease. For the fireplace. use this, take the handle, just gently lift it up, this opens the door, and then place some kindling in here, we've got some baskets set up for you, so help yourself to some wood, um, put the kindling in, the fire lighters and matches are available as well, and then once you've got all lit, um, take the handle again, just lift it up sideways to allow this to close, then just close it down, and you can see that's then locked in. To use the draw, You've got the increase the draw on this side, so larger flame like this, and to close the draw just over here, and this reduces the flame. If you do need to empty the, the fire with the ash, just pop it into this metal tray here, just for safety. Be careful, please. And fire guard. Back on. And through to the kitchen. If you just take note of the, the sign, just please mind your head when you come through. This is a small cottage and it is a, a quirky feature in the, in the property, so please mind your, mind your head when you come up the step. And into the bathroom. Got a lovely freestanding bath and walk-in shower. Now, to use the shower, you have the temperature on the right hand side here, so you want to turn it this way to go colder and push the button down this way to go warmer. I'm not going to do it just now because I don't want to get wet, but if you turn this this way away from you, that puts the water on and then towards you this way, it turns it off. The water in the in the cottage is all run off a of gas combi boiler so if you just let the hot water run just for a moment it does warm up very quickly and likewise in the bath here you can just use this little switch here to swap between using the shower head and the taps heating in the bathroom and the hallway here just the same throughout just find the indicator switch lower the number on the side and the higher on the other way. and enter a kitchen. And the light switches for the kitchen, just out in the hallway, just here, you see these three switches. One, two, and this one does the, and this hallway. one does the hallway here. Turns on the under, 
Oops, and the spotlight's here. We've also got these two switches here. If you press this one down, this light goes on. So push it in, that light comes on. It is on a dimmer switch, so you can twiddle it. And then the same with this one, just to activate the spotlights above you. And then just push them in to push them off. For the, the cooker, make sure that this switch is just left on, please. You'll see the power will come on to the cooker and to the hob. To use the extractor fan, let's just push this button. You'll see the light comes on. Let's push it off, just same again. You have three levels of power for the fan. You've got high, medium, low, and off. To use the hob, just click and hold this button. You'll see it all comes on. You want to select what section you want, so if you want the top right, then you select the top right one. Click and hold it. You now hit the power up button, and you do this until the max, which is nine. This then warms up very quickly. You can see it's just coming on now. And then to reduce, just the same process. And that switches it off. To switch it off, just click and hold the off button, and that's it off. The oven just below, you want to take the left dial just here and you want to turn this to the fan position just underneath and you want to take the temperature just over to the side. You can see that the wee red uh, orange light here is lit up. When it reaches that temperature, this will go off and then you can, you're ready to put everything in. And then just put it in back to the, back to the top to switch off. And that's you. And the microwave. To pull the door open, it should close. If you want to do an instant start, you can just click this button here once, it's on for a minute. If you want to add more time, you just press it one more time. If you want to pause it, check, restart, or cancel down here. So restart, pause, and then once more to cancel. If you want to Put in a manual time, press the microwave power once. This is 100%. If you want to reduce this, press it and it cycles through the different power levels. So if you want to go for the 100 and then just turn to the side and you can make any time that you'd like, then start. And then again, just pause once and twice to cancel it. For our toaster, we've got the two wee dials. They work the same way, you can see the wee indicator line. Just turn to the higher number to increase the duration of time and to the left to, to decrease it. And then just pull these down and that's you. The kettle, just got a wee switch just on the side here. See it indicates blue when it's, when it's on. And we have our welcome basket for when you arrive. This has got some olive oil, some milk, some coffee, some sugars, just to get you started for your stay hand soaps. We've also got a dishwasher. We've got the dishwasher tablets just on the side here. Just pop one of them just into this wee section here. When you're ready, click the button, on button, just click and hold it for a few seconds. You see it pops up. When you're ready to start it, again just a few seconds, hold the start button. Then you just simply close it and that to turn the dishwasher back off, just the same process, click and hold the off button. Just for a few seconds, then it's off. The washing machine, you just pull out the drawer here, your washing liquid goes in this one, and your fabric softener goes in the centre one. You just close this. This just pulls at the side, there's a wee switch you pull it in, and then pull it open, pop anything in, and then push closed. You then want to select what cycle you'd like. It pops up on the wee screen and then you just simply press the start button and that's you. And then to put it off, off position. We have our fridge just over in the corner. Just pull this open. Now the bottom section here is our fridge and then the top section just here, just pull this down. This is a freezer compartment. Just close, push this. 
the hot water in the apartment is all run off a gas combi boiler. So just simply use the hot water here, pull it down to go on and just within a few seconds that'll warm up. We have a coffee machine for you to use. Now this is an espresso machine, so just simply lift up here, pop a pod in here. We'll give you a few just to get you started for your stay. Pull this down, pop your cup underneath. Um, just please make sure that there's water in the back. We do leave it empty, so just lift it up at the side just here, pull it out, fill up the water in the sink, and then just make sure it's placed back in the right position. This little section goes into the back, and then that's you. To get the a large cup, you just push the button on the side here, and the small one just over here. If you have a large cup, you can just lift this, this tray up and down, so a small cup here, large cup just sits underneath. Again, the radiator, just the same throughout the property, so it just turn to smaller numbers to decrease and higher to increase the temperature. For the garden, we have our keys just at the side, just please leave them up here. You see they're all labelled up. We've got the back door just here. Just take this key. This unlocks both of these doors. And this lets into the garden. And into the garden. We have our bins just over here. Now you've got plastics in here, cardboards in here, and general waste just in this one. We have a nice little picnic area. So on a nice day, you can come out and enjoy your, enjoy your stay. Plenty of room for some dogs as well. To open both doors outside, if it's nice weather and you want to have a bit of fresh air, just have this door open and this one just push down. And that opens both doors. Just make sure to close this one first. When you lift it up, lock it. Locked in place, then this door closes afterwards. Again, lift the handle up, make sure the door is closed, then lift the handle up, and then take the key and lock it. It's quite stiff. And that's you. And um, again, just please leave the key just on the counter. Just please mind your head. When you go back through this door, quirky feature of the cottage, it is a small headroom, so just watch your head, please. Please get in touch with us um, if the power does go off and we can give you the code for the, the wee keypad. Um, the trip switches are just located just in the top here. We want to just lift this up, check that the switches are all in this position here. If not, please put it back into the correct position. If that doesn't work, please get into contact with us. The heating is controlled on this thermostat just here. So you can see currently it's set to 18 degrees and the temperature inside is 24 degrees. You want to lift this flap up here. Please leave this in the manual setting. So you can see it's just here. This means that if you change the temperature, you can see it's now set to 19, 20. So set it to your desired temperature um, and then the heating will match that. And when you're departing, and when you're departing, just use the key, pop it into the door. Just make sure that the door's been pulled tight. Lock the door, check that it's locked. Key safe again, just pull the flap down. Pull the switch down just to reset the code. Enter the code we've given you. You then want to take the dial and turn it clockwise and that opens the key safe. Pull this flap down and then just replace the keys in the key safe. Put the flap back up and Close the key safe and to lock it anti-clockwise 
and just check that it's locked. Then put the flat back up. Thank you for staying with us at Juniper Rentals. We hope you had a lovely stay in Octorider. We hope to welcome you back soon.